If you're finding it a bit challenging at the moment to grow on Instagram, then this video is for you. In it, I'm going to show you how to create carousel posts in Instagram using Canva. And I'm also going to give you some examples of the kinds of posts that you can create. Did you know that carousel posts have the highest engagement rates on your Instagram grid? And it makes sense really because when you have more than one post in a carousel and people are swiping through it, it's taking them more time. And that's what Instagram loves. They love people spending more time on the platform. So by posting a carousel and people spending more time swiping through it, that's a signal to the Instagram algorithm. And it may mean that your post is put in front of more people. It may mean that your post will appear at the top of someone's feed. It's also interesting to note that your post will sometimes appear more than once in a feed with a different photo or video showing each time it's featured. So this explains why if you want to grow your following on Instagram and your engagement rates, then carousel posts are a good idea. So where do you start? Well, I think the most important thing is to start off with your intention. Why are you posting a carousel post? What do you want to achieve? What's your goal? And always think about how you can provide value to your viewer. So now let's look at how to create a carousel post. You could simply upload 10 photos or videos um, without any formatting whatsoever. But what I'm gonna show you is a way you can use the Canva app to create some interesting posts with graphics. And um, it's really straightforward. So here are a few posts that I've created as part of a carousel. And now I'm gonna go into Canva and show you how I created them. So now we're in Canva, just click on create a design. In the search field, type in carousel and then click on carousel Instagram post. On the left hand side here, you've got various templates and if you scroll over them, you'll see which ones are free and some of them are available on the pro account, which is what I have. So I'm actually gonna choose this one and then I'm gonna click on apply all five pages because I want all five pages. And then I can scroll through and decide if I want to delete any of the pages or add some more to duplicate a certain page. Say for example, this one, I just click here and then I can move it down further here. Then if you want to, you can customize them and you can change the color. If I just click here and then click up here to the color box, you can, if you want to, and you know your brand colors, put in a hex code here, or you can see down here, I've got my brand colors already automatically set up because I've got the pro account, or you can choose one of these colors. To change the font, you just double click here and then go up to here and choose your font. So ideally choose your brand font and to change the size, either increase or decrease, you click on here and to change the color, you just click here. So what I would do is go through and customize each of these posts. I would change this to my Instagram um, account name and then I would just scroll through and decide if I want to add a different image. So if I want to add a different image here, then I would go to uploads and say, for example, I wanted to put this image in here. All I do is click and hold and that automatically puts the image in. Then you can change the text as we did earlier. We can change the font and the color. Scrolling through here, the same applies with this image. You simply drag and drop it from your uploads. And again here, so customize it as you want to with your fonts, with your brand colors, with your images. And then when you're finished, you simply go to here, download. Before I do that though, I'm gonna show you the version of this template which I've created. So I'm just gonna go over to home. And here's one I made earlier. So this is the exact same template, which is this one here. 
and all I've done is I've customized it with my fonts, my brand colors, and I've added my images too. And I've also added a couple more um, posts as well. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to save this now so you could then actually upload it onto Instagram. So you click on download and it automatically chooses PNG, which is great. And then it automatically chooses the right pixel size of the image for you. Click on download and then there you have it. Then you would just load it up onto your phone as an Instagram carousel post. So I hope you found this video useful and it's inspired you to create some carousel posts. Another thing which the algorithm likes is saves and very often people will save a carousel post as they want to refer back to it. So that's also something to bear in mind when you're thinking about the kind of content that you're going to create for your carousel post. Now, if you'd like some beautiful flower photos to post in your carousel, you may like to know that I'm creating an online course at the moment on flower photography. And if you would like to be one of the first to know when registration opens in January, then I'll put a link below to the waiting list. And in the meantime, I'll see you again next week.